Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out Billy Madison from 1995. I'm super excited to check it out, so let's get right to it. Here we go, Billy Madison. If you guys missed my Happy Gilmore reaction, make sure you check it out. I loved it, it's so much fun. I think this one came first, 95, and then Happy Gilmore in 96, I believe. I'm excited to see. He did this one first, must have went very well, and then he did another one right after. Suntan lotion for me. Billy Madison. <laughs> Oh goodness. Something important I was supposed to do. Have five daiquiris. <laughs> Is you <he> drunk? <laughs> it's nudie magazine day! <laughs> All right, it's nudie magazine day. That sounds good. <sighs> what? I like the music. It's too wacky. Ooh. Drunk chicks. Holy jeez. <gasps> How drunk is he? The no penguin. Oh, I gotta send him back to the South Pole. <laughs> All right, written by partially Adam Sandler. Makes sense. Did he write Happy Gilmore? I did not pay attention. What is with this penguin? Don't run over the flowers. <sighs> the people at the zoo, they'll treat you Where real respectable like. <laughs> Oh god. Super drunk. You know you shouldn't be pulling that in front of your father's business associate. Oh. This is a very important dinner. You best be there. I will. That boy's a fine piece of work. He's a fine piece of ass though too. <laughs> Juanita. I don't think this is gonna go well. Hey, Carl, what's up? Nothing much, Billy. I see you got a little sun today. I fell asleep by the pool for a few. Did you fall asleep or did you pass out? Ha 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 ha! Shut up! That's enough, Billy. <laughs> Can't thank you enough for coming out here this evening. Brother, do that to a Billy, please, no gibberish tonight. Sorry, Daddy. Uh, this is a big night. <laughs> what, right? he's like a big man, baby? <laughs> Billy, get the hell out of here! <clears throat> well, it's that guy's fault. Hey! When are you gonna find whatever it is you're looking for? Here's a nice piece of shit. <laughs> Oh no, not flaming. Not flaming! Oh my god, old man Clement, take shit! <laughs> Don't put it out with your boots! Don't tell me my business, devil woman! Devil woman! <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Poop again! <laughs> he the shit poop! <laughs> this is the best night of my life! <laughs> I've had to face some hard truths tonight, Billy. You were brought up with every advantage. Toys, cars, vacations, clothes. Actually, I stole this shirt from Frank. Whatever, it's all my fault. I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that I'm retiring. <laughs> Eric, not you, is going to take over Madison Hotel. Eric! <laughs> This is coming, man. I could help Billy until he gets the hang of it. Yeah. I mean, I can do this. High school was a pain, but I graduated. I paid your teachers to give you decent grades. I mean, it's not wrong, but I believe in Billy. Give me one more chance. I'll yeah, give him a chance. Old. I'll go back to high school and take the exams again. I'll get my diploma all by myself. It wasn't just high school. Remember that spelling bee you won in the first grade? No, you didn't. Rock. R. O. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's your point? First grade through twelfth grade, all over again. Wow. Regraduate. Wow. Okay. I like it. Don't you think the future of Madison Hotels is too important to gamble on a game like this? No. You pass every grade before June fifteenth, and you take over instead of Eric. Oh, Eric's gonna sabotage him. I bet. You start school on Monday. Give me hell, Bill. Oh, I like Carl. You're just delaying the inevitable. That's what you think, Eric. All right. Let's do it. We're going back to school. I like his moves. I feel like I would go to a dance party with Billy Madison. <laughs> Just a small dance break. I think more movies need dance breaks. Get your beautiful bums up that driveway. What a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> to school, back to school, <laughs> to prove I'm not a fool. Hurry up. Oh, this should be good with all the kids. Oh my god. 
Oh, she's pretty. Are you going to class today, too? I'll be going to class to teach. You must be Billy Madison. Yes, I am. Don't you think it's a little pathetic that because of who your father is, you get through school all over again? I do. <laughs> as long as you know. Quiet down, my special people. Up quiet, coyotes. I want you all to meet our new friend, Billy. Hi, Hi Billy. Billy. Take a seat right up front here, and we can start story time. The puppy who lost his way. Mm. <laughs> that should be good. A puppy popped his puppy paws out of his puppy house. Bushes. I'll never let you get past <laughs> He again. is enthralled. The end. Whoa, 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 whoa. Miss Lippy. <laughs> the little boy gave up looking for Happy after an hour. He didn't put posters up or anything. <laughs> He's so upset. <laughs> if your dog is lost, you get your ass out there. Find that <laughs> fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to play dodgeball. Hey, I watched dodgeball too. Oh, well, he's gonna dominate. Oh, maybe not. Doyle rule! Ah! What is she doing? Modern dance? Billy, what are you doing back? I'm out. You stay off to the side until the new game starts. Dodgeball time is a special time. I miss Lippy too. Why? What's she outside? doing? <laughs> time to teach that kid a lesson. <laughs> now you're all in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Pretty good duck. With the tongue out. I drew the duck blue because uh, I wanted to see a blue duck. It's an excellent <laughs> blue duck. You just passed the first grade. Yay! Good for you, buddy. Yay! Yay! Rolex! Oh, Rolex! Hey, you want to feed that donkey some beer? Maybe later. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh! Oh my god, he's really hurt. <laughs> we have just two students left. She's C H E E S E. She. <laughs> Suck it. Couch. C O W. No. <laughs> Don't laugh no, at her. If you spell this correctly, <laughs> you pass second grade. C cow. O R R U going to the mall later. Keep spelling, mister. C O U C H. Correct. He passed. I am the smartest man alive. <laughs> you gonna have a party every time he passes a grade? I was thinking that too. Are they gonna have 12 parties? How would you feel working for some punk kid like Billy? Thanks, Billy. Could be worse. Oh my Please. god. Man, I'm so nervous. Social studies division, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Social studies division this is gonna be tough. Relax, dude. Yeah, oh. Good morning, Miss Vaughn. Miss Vaughn. She's a fox. Page 69. 69. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Billy Madison. <laughs> Billy is a nuisance. I apologize for this inconvenience. Oh, come on. W once the, the, there was a good girl. Once she can't even read. T t t today, Junior! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> oh, okay, she's not gonna have any of this. Making fun of a little kid for trying to read. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I've been abused in the ear. Keep your mouth shut for the next two weeks or I'm gonna fail you. Oh, I think she means it. Oh, Billy. So depressed. Want me to take my shirt off? No, thank you. Okay, baby, the offer is on the table. <laughs> Juanita! Yes. Oh, my. Oh, God, yes. Lord. Billy Madison. Uh huh? <laughs> Okay, how about the word dugout? <laughs> Rizzuto. Rizzuto. Z. C is tricky. <laughs> Rizzuto? Those are Z's. They look like R's to me. I hate cursive and I hate all of you! But uh, I kind of missed Miss Vaughn today. Do you like her or something? No! <gasps> she says she likes me? Not to me. Well, let's find out. Oh my god. This is so cute. Uh, hello? Is this Miss Vaughn? It's Ernie from class. Ask her if she has a boyfriend. <laughs> Miss Vaughn, do you have a boyfriend? No. Ask her if she likes anybody from class. Um, Miss Vaughn, do you uh, <laughs> like anybody in class more than a friend? That's exactly what it's like for kids. Grown-ups like to go out with other grown-ups. What about Billy? You're more of a grown-up than Billy. I'll give you a grown-up. What was that, Ernie? Nothing. See you tomorrow in class, Miss Vaughn. You blew it! Oh no! <laughs>
I dare you to throw your sandwich at the driver. <laughs> I'll turn this damn bus around. Shit. He is turning bright red. Hey, I'm trying to score points with a teacher. Don't screw it up. Wants to ask her on a date. What is a horseshoe? What does a horseshoe do? Is anybody listening to me? <laughs> Next week, you can have another bunch of kids to impress and another teacher to annoy. I don't want to annoy another teacher. I want to annoy you. It's fun! It's fun! Does she like him? Somebody stole all our lunches. Who would steal 30 bag lunches? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it's okay, everybody. Back on the bus. Hey, what's with Ernie? I don't know. I'll be right back. Hey, Ernie. What's up? You falling in love with the wall or something? What's wrong? I had an accident. You! <gasps> Don't worry, buddy. You hang tight. I'll be right back. Look, everybody. Billy peed his pants. Of course I peed my pants. It's the coolest. Really? <laughs> you ain't cool unless you pee your pants. That's so nice. All right. But what about Miss Vaughn? Hi. She's lovely. Oh, man. Looks like Billy is on the right track now. He's headed right down the toilet. So you still don't think Billy's gonna make it? No, he's not gonna make it. You excuse me for something. I believe in Billy. Who will help me destroy Billy Madison? You know, that was really sweet the way you helped Ernie out yesterday. Yeah, you would have done the same for me. Is it just you and your dad in here? Well, actually, no. There's Juanita, maids, and butlers and stuff. Sounds like a hotel. Yeah, it kind of is. That's why I moved out here. He lives in that tent? Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, wow. <laughs> not exactly roughing it, are you? The last day of third grade, and you have the teacher alone in your tent. What do you want to do? I can think of three things I'd like to do. One would involve some ice cubes and a nine iron. <laughs> Two would include a buffalo. Three, we'd bring back some of those ice cubes and switch it over to a pitching wedge. How you guys doing? Dude! Hey, good to see you! <laughs> well, I think Eric is up to something. He made some menacing comments to me earlier, and then he did that little weasel laugh. Oh, yeah, how's that laugh go again? Yep, <laughs> 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 oh, he's in fourth grade. All right, sixth grade. All right, stop before I throw up. <laughs> play soccer with us after school? No, I got a test on Friday. I'll play with you guys next week. Next week you'll be in ninth grade. Yeah, high school. Right. High school. You aren't gonna want to hang room with elementary school kids like us anymore. I'll come and visit you guys all the time. It's your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fun. Nice. Do you know where the bathroom is? Just walking around in the flippers. <laughs> hey, Tommy. How about a little bathroom reading? I have the August 1983 issue Wrestling World here. Where'd you get that? He threw one opponent out of the ring, hit a bunch of senior citizens. In June 1983, sat on some guy's head and killed him. It was just a stun! He was supposed to pinch my leg! Oh! I wonder how he had time to get his teaching degree. No, you can't do that to me. He doesn't have his teaching degree? You ready to cooperate with me? That guy's the worst. Madison Hotels is as good as mine. No, Eric. No. All right, we're in high school now. Uh-oh. I don't know if these high school kids are going to think he's as cute. There are these other molecules saying, hey, we'd like some energy too. And it uses chlorophyll. Chlorophyll? More like borophyll. <laughs> no one likes them. He's a little bit stuffy in here, huh? Don't anyway. talk to me. And why is that? Because you're a loser. <gasps> he's a loser. Can you win them over? O'Doyle rule. No, another O'Doyle. Wait till they start with the wedgies. At least he's got some friends. Yay! How's high school? High school is great. Gee, I can't wait till I go to high school. Aw. Don't you say that. Stay here. Stay as long as you can. <laughs> Cherish it. <laughs> he is not okay. All the kids treat me like I'm a goof. Well, well you are a goof. He is a goof. Mm -hmm. Eight more weeks and you're all set. Doesn't feel so great to be called a loser, does it? No. Maybe the first time you went to high school, you weren't as nice to the kids that you thought were losers. I know what you're saying. You're so smart. <laughs> Hello? Hi, is this Danny McGrath? Gonna call and make amends? This is uh, Billy Madison. 
kind of gave you a hard time back then and just wanted to apologize and I That's hope That's nice. Yes, yeah, sure. Don't worry about it. It's no problem. Well, I am sorry and uh, maybe we can get together sometime and, uh, and have some coffee. Sure. I'd like that. Bye. Okay. The story of power and corruption. 27-year-old millionaire son cheated his way through elementary What the hell? And now maybe it's somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the principal at the elementary school. Billy Madison was enrolled there. During that time, Mr. Madison was disruptive. The only reason he passed was that he offered me a bribe. No, he didn't. No, he did not. Elementary school. Dad, he he's lying. He's not going to believe him. You made a fool out of me. Brian, I've got some interim forecast for you. To hey, why is everybody so glum? Oh, shut up. The deal's off. Eric's got the company. Damn it, Eric. I can't believe this is happening right now. You gonna come to class on Monday? Wouldn't make much sense now, would it? I can't be it. He has to finish. Billy's here! You looking hot tonight? Oh, no. We're gonna go on a date! Billy, why are you acting like this? I know that you didn't pay off Max. That makes two of us then, but it takes more than two to tangle. <laughs> Passy, what's going on? <sighs> It's the drunk penguin. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> a dog wearing a hat. Ooh. Ow! <laughs> I need to talk to you. Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Miss Swan. Go back to school, graduate, and get the company. I don't want it anymore. Oh. I was set up. Yeah. Nobody believes me. We do. I believe you, Billy, and I believe in you. Oh. You say you're not a loser, Billy Madison, so win. Okay, girlfriend. Good pep talk. Yes, I will go back to school. Oh, my God. No man will take what my father has built. I knew you would go back. Is this really them singing? I feel like it is. I choose my destiny. We're here to help you, Billy. <laughs> Juanita! Awesome! <laughs> you don't get that in movies anymore either. Hello, kids. Um, Mr. Anderson, is that you? Uh, yes. Billy said the stuff that you said didn't happen. Is he lying or are you lying? The statement I made about Billy Madison was completely untrue. Oh, yeah. Has anybody been able to find out anything about Max? No, sir. He's vanished. Nobody has any idea where he is. I believed in Billy all along. So oh, cut the horse. Yeah, cram it. Billy should get another shot at high school. Yes. Rules are rules. Billy was supposed to finish each grade within the two weeks or I get the cup. Nah, shut it, Eric. We had a deal. A signed, written deal. Well, technically you're right, but... Shut up, Brian. Just shut up. You can't talk to him that way. He's your boss. I'll see your ass in court. Nice talking to you. <laughs> hey. Oh, Eric needs to get what's coming to him. No lawyers. You and me. It's an academic decathlon. Ooh. One day testing all the knowledge one would gain in high school. That's risky. Let's do it. He's uh, nervous. You daddy? If you think you can beat him. I love that he calls him daddy. Is that okay with you, daddy? I know it was you. You broke my heart. <laughs> Norman Invasion of England. 1066. That is correct. What are they strip studying? Spanish Armada. 1466. 67. 1514. 1986. <laughs> Please just hang in there one second. Oh, Spanish Armada. 1588. That is correct. No! <laughs> No. Oh, God. If there is any attempt to cheat, especially with my wife, who is a dirty, dirty <laughs> I am just gonna snap. Let the academic decathlon begin. Woo. Go, Billy. That dude's got some baggage. Can he really be Eric? I assume Eric went to college. Eric dresses on <laughs> Correct. That looks freaking good. Oh, sorry, Eric. You fell home, Eric. Oh, oh, shoot. Is he faster? Oh, no. Second team All-American. Harvard track. <laughs> Went to Harvard? Right. <laughs> All right, pretty good. I played clarinet in high school. Let's hear it, Billy. That's wrong. It's upside down also. Who rules? <laughs> Did they just slip on that banana peel? 
did they all die? <laughs> Mr. Madison is ahead by one point. All right, all right, all right. Each competitor will select the category for his opponent. Oh, no. Reflections of society and literature. Good luck, schmuck. The Industrial Revolution changed the face of the modern novel. Discuss citing specific examples. Oh, boy. Quote a little Atlas Shrugged or something. Uh... Okay, the Industrial Revolution is just like the puppy who lost his way. Yes! It's Lippy! The world was changing. The puppy was like industry. They were both lost in the woods. And nobody, especially the little boy, society, uh -uh. knew where to find them. Except that the puppy was a dog. But the industry, my friend, that was a revolution. Nip high football rules! Yeah! That went about as well as it could have. Does he get any points for that? Mr. Madison, what you just said is one of the most idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumb. <laughs> I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Mr. Gordon, it is your turn. I choose business ethics. The American business environment has changed following the insider trading scandals. Explain business ethics and how they are applied today. Well, <laughs> ethics of uh, business can be summarized in... Uh, Ooh. Ethics are... The thing about ethics... Ah! Whoa, that escalated quickly! That question was not fair! I demand a new question! Take it easy, psycho! Yeah! I gotta blow you away. No, 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 no. Yes? Yeah, no! Oh, the revolting blood! Redemption! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no! She better not die! <gasps> hey! I'm glad I called that guy. Yeah! All right. Graduated. Does he really want the company? It's over. I did it. Nailed it. I know most of you are saying, hey, any idiot could do that. It was tough for me, so back off! <laughs> Inspirational. Anyways, um, this hotel stuff really isn't for me. So uh, I decided to uh, step down as chairman and give the company to Carl. Yay! I'm gonna be a teacher. Oh, that's a good job for him. He should probably teach third grade. Like, that's Max. <laughs> Finally, we see a kiss. Miss Lippy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, Juanita. Gunman. I'm happy for all of these couples. <laughs> Especially these two. Okay, that that's that's prettier. So cute. Okay, that was fun. Okay, guys. Well, that was Billy Madison, and that one was super fun. I think I was laughing through the entire thing. My face hurts. That was really fun, really funny, really goofy, just really fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and give the MVP to Billy Madison, Adam Sandler. He was just super charming, super likable, really funny. I was just rooting for him for the whole movie. So definitely, Billy Madison, MVP, Adam Sandler knocked it out of the park in this one, and in Happy Gilmore too. I'm loving the '90s Adam. Sandler. Sandler. So, MVP. Low-key MVP, I'm gonna give to the fact that this had a dance break and a musical number in it. That was so cool, so awesome. That is gonna be the low-key MVP. That being said, there were a ton of great people in this. All the kids were really cute and funny. I thought they were so cute, especially the scene where he's on the phone asking if the teacher likes him. I just thought that was so cute. It just like reminded me of middle school, trying to find out if someone likes you. It just it brought back so many memories and I loved it. Veronica was great. The bus driver was funny. The maid, they kept asking to take her shirt off. Like just, there were so many funny little side characters. I really, really liked this whole, this whole thing. And the worst award, we are gonna give it to Eric. He is weasel. He's the worst. And he pulled a gun out at the end that was totally unnecessary. Eric, you weasel. You're the worst. Overall, this one was super fun. I had a really good time watching it. Let me know if there are more Adam Sandler in the 90s that I should check out because I am having a ball watching these. So definitely let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.